I cannot have permagrin <laughs> once you click lie. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know why it's not popping up on the computer, but I have it on my phone. So. Okay, cool. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I always feel like I can like reach out and see you. I am working on Hope. This is Hope. She's a cute corgi with her ball. I'm hoping that's, I'm assuming that's in frame. Um, I, we're painting it on a 14 by 18 inch canvas from Blick Art Materials. Oh, and I didn't save it. I didn't save the packaging. Mm. It's only seven eighths inch deep. Usually I do the inch and a half. I like how sturdy the inch and a half are. It is a gallery wrapped and spline. Spline means there's a rubber gasket in there. I like how neat that looks. Um, it's a really nice canvas. I'm really like liking painting on it. We've got a little bit of table setting to do, so it's going to take a minute. Oh, with me here today in the studio is favorite daughter, Emily. Hello. I forgot about <laughs> you. You forgot about me. I'm just smiling, She's standing. just standing right there, and I forgot about her. So we have lots of colors. Um, I'm going to show you the colors, and I'll show you the palette. So I painted the ball first. I don't know if you noticed, but it's floating. It needs a shadow. I haven't painted the shadow yet. But... Uh, for two reasons. One, there's going to be hair that comes over the ball. And two, it helps me try to, like, I'm, you can already see I put, hopefully you can see, there's blue and pink, a little purple right here. I'm trying to make Hope a little more colorful without it being weird. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have my son over here because in this photo reference, um, here, maybe I'll show you the iPad. You really can't, it's a, it's a, Cloudy day, I think. That's probably got a lot of glare. And they're really, the light source is from over here, but it's really hard to see. So am I aiming? Oh, we can't tell mm -hmm. if I'm aiming for you. Okay. And but that ball's neon in the photo. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, oh, here, that's another. See, I'm just, I have all kinds of thoughts, people. I have all kinds of thoughts while I drop paint. So I put in a shadow on the ball that isn't in my reference photo to help it look rounder. And then I also, there is a shadow, a slight shadow in the reference photo. I might make that even stronger. Okay, so for the ball, cadmium yellow medium hue. Is that in frame, Em? Mm-hmm. Quinacridone magenta, magenta. This time in the basics, sometimes I buy it in heavy body. Um, I couldn't find it in heavy body when I went to the store, so that's the only reason why. Uh, with liquid text, it says that the basics aren't as heavily pigmented, and they are a little more softer body. But boy, I can't tell the difference in pigmentation. Maybe you guys can. You can let me know in the comments. And then I also used, I have an art cart behind me, one of those three shelves with wheels, in case you're curious. Vivid Lime Green. That was a great green for the ball. I was glad I had it in my studio. And then actually Thalo Blue Green Shade worked really well too. It's a good match for the photo. Um, I guess that's, there's no um. <laughs> I, oh, I also use the same blue in the dog tag, which might look a little different in the photo, but it helps tie it in. Okay, so let's show you that palette. I'm assuming you want to see it. So sometimes I'll have different palettes when I'm working on a painting. This Ooh, is bright. my very bright and pretty ball palette. <laughs> this is titanium white. So then I can mix, with the quinacridone, I can mix some purples pretty greens. I got, with all the, with all those colors, you can really, really have fun. Okay. For Hope, oh, and then as I mentioned, I pulled some of those colors up. I may need to pull it up again. And I made her eyes, I think they're a little more open than the reference photo, just because I want to get some reflection. I want her to be a little bit happier. I'll run it by Pam, who's my friend who commissioned this portrait to make sure she's happy with it, too. Okay, so this time I'll show you the palette first, then the colors. So I squeeze when I was painting the background, the background is black and burnt umber and a little bit of um, unbleached titanium. So black, burnt umber, unbleached titanium white. I don't know why I squeezed out so much black. I don't know what I was thinking. That's a lot. It's a lot of black. I'll just save it. I'll be able to use it. We need to, we need to do another. I need to talk about this. We need to do another black background portrait. This is raw sienna, and then this is just a combination of unbleached titanium and raw sienna. And then I end up putting up a little 
putting out a little phthalo blue green shade just because I was using blue in some of the black areas. Okay, and then I'll show you the paint tubes. I totally forgot to talk about the horse behind me. <laughs> I jumped right in. So Mars Black. Hopefully it's not too quick. The nice thing is you can pause the live or the video afterwards. Raw Sienna. You can tell I'm using more basics over time, I think, if you go back in the videos. Mm -hmm. Just because I can find them. And they're, they're less expensive. Burnt Umber. And Unbleached Titanium White. Okay, I'm going to talk about the horse and then we'll... Okay. We'll, so I wanted to show you guys this even though it, it doesn't post until Sunday, May 15th, 2022. I thought you might want to see the finished horse. It turned out yummy. I mean, mm -hmm. I struggled with it for a little bit. I, it took me a little bit to get used to the black background, which is funny because I chalk on a black chalkboard. It's the same principles, you know, your, mm -hmm. your dark's already there. Uh, but I, I think it turned out really neat and we're calling it Missing You, even though Emily Aww, suggested Nutmeg. Oh, that's cute. I think it does look like that. Yeah. And I wrote down I wrote down all your title ideas on Facebook, so thank you. Thank you so much for that. Could you do a closer? Well, I, yeah. What is? A little higher. A little higher. You can. It'll, it should catch up in just a second off camera, but a little higher maybe. There you go. There you go. Oh, we're getting a little glare. A little glare, but you can see it a little better because you was a little far away. Okay. Anyway. There we go. Okay. Cute. Cool. Thank you for the help. Mm-hmm. Okay, and would you just stick in one of those easels yes. behind you? And then she's going to zoom in. We're going to work on fur, and then you'll be able to see what I've done so far. Okay. Would you put your hand again where you think you're going to be? I'm going to work on body fur. I don't know how much of face. I'll probably just work on... <laughs> That's sort of a funny X. I feel like I should. <laughs> yeah. You're a hand model right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't think I'd be a hand model. Okay. I think, I think, I think. I, I don't think I'll work on the legs. Them. I think I'll try to keep it. Although, okay, so I have my easel set up to where, I don't know if you can tell, but this is yeah. already above my shoulder, which isn't cool. You usually want it lower. Because mm -hmm. your, your arm's just going to get more tired. But it's a little easier for us to video up in the air like that. Yeah. Let's start with that one and then, oh. I am going to move it again because I, there we go. We have microphone My wires. Cord. Um, But I think we'll start there and then if I need to scooch it, I'll. Right. I'm going to show scooch. another quick look at Hope. So you, I can't really see her eyes. Um, which I painted enough corgis wasn't worrying me too much. So I just blew up this, I cropped this photo and I blew it up. I scribbled on the back of that photo that I blew up. Uh, with chalk pastel and I transferred it onto my canvas and then I outlined it with some color which you can kind of see here so I don't lose it so I don't didn't lose the structure sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't um, but what I did do let's see if I can find it on my iPad here I found I think this photo's on unsplash oh, I've got a hair on my iPad that's lovely <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is from unsplash this is similar pose you know, it's, we see a little more on the right. The only thing is when, when anything smiles, the eyes change. And this, this dog's eyes are more open. But it still kind of helped me a little bit to mm -hmm. see the nose and the eyes, see the eye color. Um, I might put a little pink in here. I've got it right now. I'm kind of thinking about it. Okay. Oops, I just shut my photos. <laughs> I don't want to shut my reference photo. I need to see it. So the iPad has advantages and I can zoom in. Um, I can see the colors a little bit better than when I print it off. Um, in this case, the photo was low res. So when I blew it up or even at this size, it's blurry, whereas my iPad will sometimes show it better, um, more crisp. But it's backlit too, which can be kind of, I don't know, depending on the photo. I can't think of an example, but that can be kind of a pain. Okay, I think I really set the table. You set that table. I'm hungry. Let's get started. <laughs> oh, thank you for laughing. That wasn't that funny. Well, I just didn't expect the hungry. Yeah. So I've been using, oh, a little craft brush. Like It's like a liner brush. It's a three, oh, three over zero for the eyes, nose, details. Um, and then I kind of sometimes come in with 
any brush will work. Size and, comfort and what you're comfortable with. I've used, oh, I don't know if that's a half inch, Filbert. And I think it's the one from Amazon that's really inexpensive. Just for kind of outlining things, I've got not quite a quarter inch Filbert from the same company. Uh, I've got an old fuzzy number one, Simply Simmons, but that can be kind of nice for fur. I've used those and I'm gonna use my bent, warped, Simply Simmons flat shader. Boy, do you think that's a half inch? You think I would be great at that, but when it's between the two, mm -hmm. that could be a little bigger. And then sometimes actually the brush is made a little bigger or smaller, even though they'll have the same number at the store. Alrighty, so I'm gonna work on getting some, I've been getting shapes in there. You can see them. Mm -hmm. I got a shape there. I just had the shape of the nose, and last night I put some color and some more detail and guessed where the nostrils would be. Would be. Um, put some more color and detail in the eyes. Just because I'm happier when I know the eyes, nose, and mouth look good. Um, and then the ball turned out really well. I was a little nervous about the ball because I can't get... You can't always paint what you see in a photo with those neon colors. Because mm -hmm. this is actually orange, but then I don't get any contrast. So some of these I painted over with orange and some I left more red. Same with this green. That was a, kind of an interesting challenge. So I just have a lighter edge on the blue side and a darker edge on the green side. Um, you can, you don't have to, you can fudge or you can take artistic license is probably a nicer way to say it. Did I mess it up when I picked it up, Emma? Are we still? No, you're good. Okay. I have lots, lots of things to say. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be fun when we get to the, so I'm like structure, 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 a little bit of color and stuff here and there, so I'm happier in the eyes and nose and mouth. All right, so I'm going to grab some straight up unbleached titanium white with my bent flat shader, and I'm going to put in some of this. Well, that may be too light. Of course, I can always come up in value, so I'm grabbing a combination of raw sienna and unbleached titanium white. And this is pretty much why I have the unbleached titanium white because it's just easy for pet portraits. And I do a fair number of animal paintings. It can be a nice handy cream. You could make a cream with a, we did it, I don't know how long ago. Pinch of burnt umber and a pinch of oh, yellow. Yeah. yeah. Barely, just barely. A bunch of titanium white. Mm -hmm. So I'm paying attention to the fur direction. I'm also not too worried. I'm just getting, you can come back here. I won't, uh, well, here, I'll do it in case I lose people. You can come back, especially after this dries, and then I can get more individual hairs, but you don't need every hair in the fur. I don't know if I asked you how you are, Emily. You kind of, we walked in and we just started chatting about other things. I'm good. Yeah. I couldn't sleep last night. I think I'm. I think it's packing is not getting to me, but I, like it's getting closer. Like we we close on Monday, so that's a little uh, like. There's more of a laundry list that's running through your head. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking mm. like, okay, so we definitely need to like, because I don't really want to like come back to the apartment and clean. So like we're gonna have to clean this weekend. So I think I. I think I sent um, Chase. Chase was still up. I think I sent him a text message at like 2 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Yeah, it is a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you, you probably already do this. That's why I have all those notes, because then I can sort of brain dump. Mm -hmm. Of course, then I review the notes, so I don't know. <laughs> then you just sit and stare at all the notes. Yeah. Have. Yeah. I think it's just because it's um, closer to the end, so. Yeah. And then, it's, and then I mean, and then once we close, that it's really like going until the weekend, or at least until Thursday, because we'll move Thursday. But I'll be moving small stuff till then, so. <laughs> so it'll be fun, but I'm prepared to be tired. <laughs> I would be tired already. I'm already, yeah, I'm already tired in preparation yeah. for thinking about being tired. Yeah, I feel tired since you've come in. And it's gloomy out. It was hard, especially since I couldn't sleep. It was hard to get out of bed. Oh, I bet. 
You were a little late today. Nuh-uh. I left the house when I always leave the house. Oh, sometimes you're here like at 20 after. It was a little Oh, la- yeah. Little I laughter. typically leave at 11.20 to get here. Typically. But I was early the time before that because you made a comment. You're like, you're, I didn't expect you to be here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I just didn't. That doesn't mean it's bad. No, I know. I'm going to add a little raw sienna to some of my... So this this is burnt burnt umber and raw sienna, but still on the brown side. I was gonna maybe lighten up a little puddle. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference. Sometimes when you're painting, you do things that don't make any difference, but it's not a big deal. You have to know. Sometimes the only way to know is to try. Today is um, May the fourth. Be with you. Oh, it is. I'm not so much a Star Wars fan. I couldn't. I mean, I was big when it came out. I'm, I don't even remember what year it was, but mm-hmm. gosh, I probably was an adult. It yeah. is. I didn't even realize. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> I, anytime it's May 4th, it reminds me of, um, I think my first year, my freshman year of college, I had my first art history final on May 4th. Oh. And it was like the last, but it was the last final I had, but it was the most stressful because it's just, you know. Oh, that's hard. You um, memorize everything from the period that you that your entire class is in. And, Look and, at the painting, try to remember absolutely everything about it. Well, and um, it was, it's more of. Um, no, I'm wrong. It was like, like the getting into um ancient stuff so it's like a lot of structures uh, and things like that it's not so much like art if right. it is it's like little statues and things right. but um I just remember and it was the first time I'd ever had a test like that and it was it it felt like a almost like a like what I would picture a law test to be where because I just had to write paragraphs it's hard of like it would be like what is this thing and why is it this way and what does it mean and, and then, then you're you just thinking write, why do I care yeah and the test is only like 10 questions but it's 10 like minimum one paragraph, you know, like nine sentences per answer kind of question er, answers. So I'm like, oh. So now every time it's May the fourth, I I don't know why that must have traumatized me because I think about it every <laughs> every year. It did traumatize you. They're hard. I had art history at three colleges. Mm-hmm. Do not remember any of it because I don't use it. When well, every professor taught it different, so you know, I think my next one wasn't that bad. Like my next, it, it was a little bit more like. Um, I don't know what I would picture a normal test to be, whereas m- it, for my freshman first year, the paragraphs was a nightmare. Oh, I thinking I failed it or I got a D. I might have got it a D. Mm-hmm. My first art history class at my first college. I, had, I mean, I st- and I studied so hard for it. <laughs> you studied hard for that D. Oh, I was I was uh, in tears. Yeah, yeah. Art well, history was rough. It's well, fun to learn about, but it's the testing on it is rough. Oh. Yeah, some of it is interesting, mm-hmm. um, but I mean, yeah, just maybe they're hopefully they're better at it. It was just sheer memorization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, not really thinking fur direction. Well, it would be kind of coming down. Um, in my photo, actually, it looks like it goes horizontal. I'm just trying to kind of get some paint down, and I'm kind of thinking more value. Because uh, Hope has some darker. I don't know how to like a darker. Specks, speckles on her back. Oh, that was a loud noise, but it probably wasn't loud on the mics. Me, I don't think so. I'm kind of like looking at this shape. And I think I'm cropped off. This is where it's kind of nice to have a crop photo, but I've got one down on the floor. Yeah, I'm cropped off before this um, hip bend, leg bend. It's more like that. Look at the little fur rolls. Yeah, they're cute. Cute, cute. I leave myself landmarks and I refine the landmarks. And if I want to refine them more, I refine them more. And then like towards the end lately, I'm not going to do it right now, but like I'll put some wet paint down. Well, here, I could do it here. That's not going to show. And then I just pull it out like I did on the top of the mane of that horse, which I think is fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I did it on the Cardinal. It didn't look so hot on the live, but it ended up looking... That cardinal sold. Um, it ended up looking good, I think, mm-hmm. when I was done with it. Okay, so I'm just kind of thinking, what color do I want? Actually, that helped when I zoomed in on the iPad. 
Mm -hmm. And then I will paint some around the sides and then I'll come back and have the sides marry over a little bit better look, follow through, follow over the edge better. And I paint the sides because if you don't want to frame it, you have a complete painting. Mm -hmm. And if you do frame it, sometimes the sides show, like if you have a float frame, do you call that, M? Yep, a float frame. And if you, I don't know where to that they can see it. So I keep moving my hand. Sorry, I keep moving my hand like absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes you can have a float frame that even has space before the frame. And so you would definitely see the sign. I just did that with the two Nebraska skies that sold. Oh, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to see it. But I mean, I got to see what they were going to do before. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that looks so good when you have the space. I mean, I don't know if it's exact, but and I'm picturing in my brain a typical like float frame. You'd have like, like a quarter inch all the way around. So it floats. That's the float frame. Oh, this one had more. It was yeah. at least an inch. But um, I would say on average, just like usually Oops. they are like only a quarter inch of a float. So you'd catch it a little bit, but. Um, Tammy asked uh, when we're switching to the evening tutorials. June 1st. Wednesday, June 1st. Wednesday, June 1st. So Six. we have how many more? 6 p.m. The calendar's down here. You could pull up the calendar on your computer. Let's see. So we do not have a live next Wednesday. <gasps> yeah. No, like that's part of my analysis. Um, it's okay to repeat. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> and then we'll have two more at the noon hour until we switch tonight. So the 18th and the 25th will be our last two. Yep, no live next week. We're moving. Yes, we're moving. <laughs> I'm going to move, I'm move with, in with Emily. She's just finding out now. Yeah. <laughs> Chase, I'm so sorry if you're listening. Yeah, that's what that, that's what the, that's what that fourth bedroom's for. Is, oh, right, the, super for you? the super chats are going to end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, great. You cannot move in with me. No, I'm not. I'm just going to help them. Um, walking with Tamsin says, always seem to catch these while eating dinner. Well, we're going to move to a new time. Actually, we'll move to a new time and he'll be sleeping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that stinks. They went to a gorgeous, I'm going to say dollar burn, dollar, a gorgeous place. You guys should watch Walking with Tamsin. They showed these cherry trees and a stream and it was just beautiful. And the buildings were just amazing. I was like, oh, I love it. I get to go on a little vacation without leaving my studio. <laughs> or sitting on the plane, or... <laughs> yeah. It's really cute. When I think Chloe, who's his daughter, said that the cherry smelled like artificial cherry flavoring, which was just adorable. Mm. That the cherry blossoms on the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that cute? Oh, I'm going to Artificial close cherry that. flavoring. Oh, we have lawnmower coming. It's that time of year again. Yep. I'm surprised they're here. We had over an inch of rain and even some rain. We had rain. I've been talking about the weather. We had rain and everything exploded. Usually the, the crabapple trees kind of go the white ones, the pink ones, and then the dark ones. Um, they all opened at once. It's just gorgeous here. I'm so excited we had rain. I know, I, and I get to see the, because all the ones in front of our apartment are, are those pear trees? Because of the white? No, you have white crab apples. They're white crab apples. Yeah. Um, they uh, all bloom before we move. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. So we get to see them one last time. It's I love, I like, I like that the trees, I know they're probably because they're smaller. You know, they don't tend to probably get as, or big as fast or something. I don't know why. Maybe they're prettier. Who knows why they put them in the apartments, but... Um, there's, that's all the trees that are around are just those trees. So they look really pretty. It is really pretty. Stinks for the, whoever will take our place because they won't get to see it. <laughs> I asked you the other day if you were going to miss anything at the, at the apartment. You're like, no. <laughs> I mean, really? No, I won't miss anything. You miss the trees. Yeah, but there's trees in neighborhoods, so I'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think your tree is a crab apple tree in your new house. No, but, um, I don't know if it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. I don't, I don't know it if it is. is, but, um, Based I don't. I can, I'll drive through the neighborhoods. I'm fine giving up the crab apple trees. Emily has to buy a lawnmower. I think we're gonna, at least for the first year, we might use um, Chase's dad's old one. I think oh. it mulches, so we won't have to bag or anything. That'll be nice. Mm. Walking with Tamsin said, yes, Annie, uh, the dollar burn side. Is dollar burn side, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. The buildings were gorgeous, and then with all those cherry blossoms. That's the first time I've ever seen cherry blossoms and you got a nice close-up view of the clusters. They're really pretty. I bet it does smell really good. 
I was wishing for YouTube smell, smell option. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. Scratch and sniff my screen, yeah. <laughs> They do really cute videos. I don't catch every one, but I try to catch most of them. So I hope this helps a little bit. I mean, for me, I love hanging out with you guys. Um, getting the live back and forth is really fun. But I hope it helps to see like I'm not so worried for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I'm finding the edges of the puzzle, which I've mentioned several times. Mm -hmm. um, just helps me because, like, I I get nervous. Pet portraits make me nervous because they know this family member inside and out. Um, they make me less nervous than when I first started doing them. I don't know how many years it's been now. I don't know. Maybe 2018, 2019. I think so. I can't remember. I can't remember when I started exactly. I did a couple of test runs. I did Charlie, who's my sister-in-law's dog. Um, I palette knifed. I was palette knifing. I might have you hand when you have a chance. Emily, I'm gonna have you hand the cat. Mm -hmm. Um, Walking with Tamsin Here. says they're loving the dark colors on the. Isn't that yummy? Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. And I'm going to be able to get more drama if I don't use white and then just use pops of white here and there. I can help direct your eye away from the ball mm -hmm. down at the bottom. So I'm really going to shy away from white till the end. So the background on this was brushed. It was in Artist Network magazine, I don't know, maybe 2019. Maybe. I don't think it was 2020. Um, but I, I didn't palette knife the eyes, but I palette knifed all this crazy fur. And I'm like, why am I doing that? It'd be quicker with a brush. But it's like, I don't know if you can see how kind of jaggedy the whiskers are. That's because it's the edge of a palette knife or a credit card or... Mm -hmm. I didn't, that's definitely, I brushed the eyes, you can tell. But it's not that crazy? Like, but I was palette knifing everything when I first started acrylic painting because I was trying to keep myself looser. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just like, okay, if I'm going to be doing this... <laughs> I'm going to go to a brush. <laughs> yeah, well, and it, the brush works really well at first, but it's not like you couldn't do it with a palette knife. I've showed that um, truck where I palette knife the truck and it's so smooth. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, is Charlie palette knifed? Yeah. Oh. I think, well, I, last time I didn't do the palette knife the background because you, then you get kind of textures and ridges and I wanted yeah. it smooth. Um, yeah, he's, he's palette knifed. His sweater is palette knife. Mm. He's back on the... Timmy loves the kitty. Yeah, I like that cat too. I like the green eyes they pop. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like um, someone on Facebook's, I, I can think of her name, but I don't know if she wants me to mention, mention it. It looked like her cat. So that was fun. I got to talk back and forth. It was fun that that made it in Artist Network magazine. I just entered some more art contests yesterday. Hmm. That's what I did. I was like, I didn't get much done yesterday. I was saying to <laughs> Emily, I'm like, I can't remember yeah. what I did. Yeah. But I was doing kind of advertising street Cred stuff. <laughs> yeah, and that takes time. It does. I am. Um, it does. Mm, Tammy says, um, loose is so much harder for me. I'm trying, though. Well, I end up getting tight. You saw the horse. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I think loose is, uh, in a way, hard for you, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose this looks pretty loose right now, though. That's how, mm -hmm. you, that's how you do it. You just kind of stop yourself before you go. Yeah. Go too far. The self control is hard though. I have no self control. Chocolate is one of my favorite foods. Mashed potatoes and gravy are oh. amazing. Walking with Tamsin says we have the same um, clay model car that's in the back. So, like your little piggy bank. Oh, yeah. In the background, they say they have that. Oh, well, I'm a VW bug driver. I've had four now. Yes. You're on your fourth, yeah. Um, and Emily and I used to work at a paint-your-own-pottery place, so you'd pick up the bisque, which I think bisque has already been fired once. Right yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can paint it and leave it, and we'd fire it, and then people come out and pick it up. Well, both Emily and I worked at that place. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I started that sometime after 2008 because the housing market did a number on my graphic design business. Um, I can't remember what year it was. Oh, yeah, but, I mean... It might have been even a while after. I think I was, a while I, after. Cause... I was waiting. I just assumed things would get better. Yeah. And a lot of, it, things just, kind of like with the pandemic, things just shifted. Mm-hmm. Which I wasn't 
Go ahead, honey. I wasn't. Oh, no. I was just going to say it had to be a little later because uh, you weren't working there all that long before I started working there. Well, and you were 14 or 15. I was 15. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, that was a fun place to work. Mm -hmm. So I have a few ceramic things that are <laughs> sitting over there. I like the banks. Although I used to have more change, too. I know. I keep finding... Uh, no, as I'm moving, though, I'm finding a lot of change. <laughs> like, I, you know, like, it's probably in my pocket, and I just throw it in a drawer. So I found, like, quite the pile of change just in things, around things. So I have... I. I found, like, a lot for some reason in my desk, and I don't know why. Maybe, I guess, like, I had it in my pockets, and I just dumped it in dumped there. Dumped it in there. But, yeah, I don't get change as much as I used to. I'm trying to get the value right here, and I'm not, but it's not like it's a big deal, just if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing. So I keep switching between this pot puddle, that puddle. So raw sienna, my mix of raw sienna and unbleached titanium in my kind of lighter brown color. Just trying to, I'm kind of doing a little wet on wet blending just to get it closer. He looks kind of like a little hot dog. They are kind of a little hot doggy. Yeah, I mean, they're not like wiener dogs, hot dogs, but he looks a little hot. I guess because maybe he's hot dog color bun. True. Bun and he's, color. And he's, he's over the ball. and Yeah. It, <laughs> he's look, yeah, There's just a lot of interesting things to this mm -hmm. one. The ball is cute. Yeah, I like the color, the pop. And I think the dark background helps your, because you were, I mean, before you started this, you were telling me, you were like, I don't know how to get the ball colors. I think the dark background makes those look more vibrant than they would be on a white, you it, know? It does, and at the same time, it muted the colors. It was a really interesting oh, experience. Did it? I, there's a full video coming out. There'll be, a, a lot of it will be time-lapse, but there's a full video so you can see the color changes and shifts. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and then what's funny is I've painted on a bunch of these dark brown backgrounds, so why did the black background throw me this, yeah. this isn't a whole lot different yeah why why you you because like I remember I, the first time I mentioned you were like oh, I don't know I have questions about why I had issues <laughs> and then and then you started and you were telling me you're like I don't this is hard I keep putting things where they're not supposed to be I did I I truly but yeah you paint on these all the time. this this is almost black right up here yeah yeah I hmm if there's any there's psychologists out there, you can message me. Yeah. Yeah, we have our, our resident, um, oh, what's it, zoologist, Bonita, and then we have we need a resident psychologist for why the colors threw you off. So a lot of times I end up painting these rolls a couple times, even in my what I'd call my first round, and then I just keep kind of adjusting them a little bit. which I don't really need to do. I should really just move on and get more. So one thing I want to do is get values down so I can see how it's working. You know, I kind of have some lines painted so I don't lose the structure from my traceable. You know, so I just kind of keep building on the foundation, you know, dig the basement, put in the blocks. I'm, you know, I framed it and now we're starting to put up maybe some drywall, but it's not taped yet. Is that a pretty good analogy? Great analogy. Wow, I don't know where that came from. It's good. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's good. You, can, you build it like a house. So using the puzzle all the time. And that's way too light, but also it might look way too light because of the dark background. So that gets to be, so really you just start, you know, I tend to fuss too much in one area. Um, and it's okay. I mean, it's how I paint too. What was I going to say? It'll help me. I just need, like I said, I need to get the values down so I can figure out if I like how bright that is right there. I'm going to grab a little of this. Because right now I don't like it. Values and shapes. We need some sort of saying or something interesting. What do you mean? Like I don't a. Know. Like, um. Values do the work and color gets the credit. I don't know what artists came. I, mean, I uh -huh. lots of artists say that. We almost need something with values and shapes make the day. Or I was thinking you were trying to think of like an acronym, like how you remember north, south, east, oh. and you know never eat shredded wheat or never eat oh sour watermelon. I don't know. No, never. <laughs> eat. But either way, I, I thought that's what you're talking that. about. Like trying to remember. That. <clears throat> I did not know that. I just learned something. Learning moment. I hope they lifting that up high enough for you guys to see. Let Emily know if you want anything different in the, mm -hmm. in the chat. We can make adjust adjustments while we're live. 
I feel like we should watch a Star Wars, Star Wars movie tonight. Oh, maybe. Since it's May the 4th. Well, we're still in, um... There's something that's bugging me here. We could skip and watch a Star Wars or, um... Oh, I'm going too low, too. We've got Ozark. Oh, yeah, do you want me to scoochie? Nope, nope, I just started okay. going down the arm and he did not do that. No, um, thanks. Oh, go ahead. I don't think... I, I, how many episodes did we get into Ozarks last... Oh, we do need On to. Sunday. Yeah. Because we may be able to finish it tonight since you come over earlier on Wednesdays. We go from happy painting live to the deep, dark the depths Ozarks. of Ozarks. Yeah. Which is a show on Netflix? Mm -hmm. Just in case somebody doesn't know. I'm trying to see. Let's see. Here. And Netflix is raising their prices, I think. I Again? Uh, no, I think this. I, they haven't done it. I think it's oh, still the same. The last time was like the warning think, that yeah, they were going to do it. They're oh, prepping okay. people for less angry comments or something. Yeah. Oh, we have quite a few. I don't think we'll... Well, I guess we have one, two, three, four, five episodes. What are you guys watching? We need ideas. I know. We were... Because we're, well, once Ozarks is done, we haven't... We don't have, like, a series or anything. I mean, we have lists, but I haven't found anything that's, like, trips the trigger. I did see that they were casting for um, Kate Middleton to play for In the Crown. So there, I don't, I don't think that season's coming out for a while, but I don't know if that was like. Did people like this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. If you pause for half a second, they jump in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no dead air. No <laughs> dead air at all. Um, you mentioned The Sopranos. Has anybody watched The Sopranos? We haven't seen it. And if did you like it? Yeah. I mean, that's quite a while ago, but it doesn't mean it won't be good. Yeah, I was trying to think of like shows that. Because we've done quite a few that are just, like, a couple seasons. Or we just played catch-up with a lot of them, too. Like, we did catch-up with Marvelous Miss Maisel. Yeah. And Ozarks Part 1, and then there was another one that, like, a new season just all of a sudden came out. I can't remember. But anyway, so we've been... I quit following you for a second, sorry. That's fine. I'm just ready for, like, a, a one that we don't have to change for at least a couple, a few seasons. Like, three or Emily four. likes seasons. I like seasons, because then I... I don't know, like... It was kind of weird to like all of a sudden go back to Ozarks, and then they you know, they only had part one out, so it was like we only watched eight episodes. Yeah, what's well, that? Does that's fine. That doesn't bother me. I'm just cutting a little bit of water into my burnt umber. A lot of times, I burnt umber dries quicker. I think it might be what they use to make the color, mm -hmm. not the medium, but the, whatever the material. The I don't know what's made from flowers or dirt or you know I don't know. I don't know what it, if it'd be made from those things mm. anymore. I, yeah. You think? I actually don't know. I'm not a paint chemist and I'm not up on. So I'm painting the same color that's right there. So let's switch a little bit. <laughs> that didn't show. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of lifting my palette up. It helps um, to have Emily here because I'll have my phone just as close when I'm shooting the full start to finish video. And I don't always remember to lift my palette, but with Emily here, I'm like, oh, there's people. <laughs> my presence is intimidating. Yeah, you scare me. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but I like that. You scare me. Okay, where's the... Are you still laughing? No, I'm laughing because I, um, I, uh... There's a line there. I, I was, uh, going to... I asked Chase a question about something, but, um... I scrolled back in our text messages and I, I, I took the funniest series of photos of Maya last night. Oh, they were cute. Like I, no, I, well, I, I didn't send you these. I got her like mid stretch of like she was sitting on the boxes. Um, Maya's a cat. Yeah, Maya, my cat. Um, she's sitting on our the, like they've been loving the towers of boxes of like things that I've packed so oh, far. Yeah, they can get up and high and. Mm -hmm. And um, so Maya's been like sleeping on them, and I, <laughs> I caught her as she was like mid stretch. To, um, and I, I guess you could, if you, oh, we have break. We need break. Oh, we're chatting too much. Go ahead and finish We're your chatting thought. too much. But I was, <laughs> I just came across the photos that, um. Are you trying to show me on your phone? Yeah. I, uh, but of Maya. And oh, we that's can, funny. So you can't post them in the chat. Well, um, I mean, you could show my phone if you want. But, like, look, look at this one. <laughs> Of course, she's your baby. You know, you're going to think she's funnier and cuter than anybody. Well, yeah, that face is just so derpy, though. It the is way a derpy she's... face. I caught her in mid-yawn. Huh. But yeah, whenever you're done, we're 10 minutes late for the... Oh, that's fine. I, I, the big thing is I want to thank people, so... Mm -hmm. 
All right, I will, we'll just stop there. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. I have two jars of clean water. Um, I try to wipe most of the, I'm gonna grab it, most of my paint on the paper towel. Oops, I'm gonna set down my, and then I try to then rinse it out in the first jar of clean water and then I wipe it off on a paper towel and then I rinse it off in a second jar. So that second jar stays, stays super clean. And that's kind of an old, that's an old thing from when I was doing watercolor. And I've got that big pile of black. I don't know what I was, I wasn't thinking. Okay. You might like doing that with two jars. You don't have to, just something I do. So I want, I'm going to get my head probably down here and in front of mm -hmm. the camera. Sorry guys. So I wanted to thank Linda Z for sending money through PayPal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Art hugs. And then I've already talked about May the 4th. No live <laughs> next week. Mm -hmm which is May 11th, 2022. And then June 1st, when, what, June 1st, Wednesday, we go to 6 p.m. for the lives. And we're looking forward to meeting new art friends. Those are my only commercials. But yeah, thank you, thank you, Linda. Okay, back to live action painting. <laughs> kind of squirrely today oh when when he goes would you open the window yeah when he goes mm -hmm. the lawn guy the next door lawn guy yeah i bet his i thought he had, was gone but then he, hears... he has a big heavy riding mower mower i bet he sank in the backyard oof yeah that's, that's not so good leaves anyway. tracks too maybe yeah oh yeah he does um i'm kind of debating i might just take a little so my, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can see it. My son's up here. Emily made me these cute sons. I have two of them. One, this one has glasses on. I'm thinking we'll make this a little gray and white just to differ, differentiate it. And it's gonna probably be too contrasting and bug me, but get it in there. There's like a little, fold isn't the right word. Oh, I can show you. That'd probably be helpful. I will show you what I'm looking at. Are you going to hang in that area of his... Of oh, am I too low? Their neck. Well, if you're just going to hang there, I might zoom in. No, I'm going to end up coming up. And we might come up and do the ears. I'm, it's annoying okay. today. So can you see that little piece that's a little darker? Right there. That's what I'm working on. <laughs> and I don't want to lose it because then there's like a little white edge that could be helpful. And then it kind of points... It turns into this point. Sometimes those little, and then I can exaggerate a little bit and have little, that'll be fun when you have little furs, come, furs, fur hair coming over the, the ball. Yeah, I am a little low. Maybe I should move up a little. Yeah, because it's not in focus. So if, if you'll hang there for like even five, ten minutes, I'll move it. Oh, no, I think I'm pretty much done. Okay. Especially since you pointed it out to me. <laughs> okay, we'll move up. We'll move up. Cleaning off my brush. And that might be lighter than I want it. Um, so that's where it's helpful to get this. Oh, I'm trying to make it a little darker. That's where it's helpful to get it in. I also might want to warm it up on my second layer instead of such a stark contrast of the grays. Of course, it's going to dry darker if I leave it alone. Um, that's where it's helpful to kind of get things going. And then I, once I get more of this filled in, I can go, okay, splotch a white here, splotch a white here. Oh, this is fine. It doesn't need to be darker. Do you know what I mean? And I also need a shadow, too. That's going to make that look lighter. I'm going to put a little hint of shadow. I'll just use some black and some um, uh, matte medium. You could use some black and some water. Okay. So I'm going to work, we're going to work around the chin here, I think. So I haven't done this forever, Emily, but if this picks up again, we could have like a hot flash moment because I'm flashing. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Like, you know, oh, oh like hot flash. Well, you know, take a drink. We're fla I'm flashing, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, Bonita says, curious as to what your future live paintings might be. Do you have a plan for when we come back? Um, I'm going to no. do more on the easel for a bit so I can get art, artists to my agent. So I think I'm going to repaint the pig video, oh, yeah. which you won't want... be next week, but the week after. 
Do you want this? I could show it. It's got like food stains on it and stuff. Ooh, yum. <laughs> so in two weeks, we're gonna repaint the pig. We're gonna paint it eight by eight. The original video was a year ago, at least. At I think. least. What size? I can't remember what size it was. Um, I think it was eight by eight. And I'm I'm gonna add a daisy, some daisies to it. And I'm gonna, and we'll, I'll paint it different, a little bit differently. Um, and it's kind of like what would I do now after a year type of video. Mm -hmm. Plus this is a cute fun one. Yeah, he was sweet. Yeah. Blossom, is that what the piggy's name was? Blossom. I'm gonna find the original pig video. Um, I wanna do, I have a list too from people. So I need to do a cardinal, I don't have one to sell. And I need to do a rooster, cause I don't, I've sold them all. I need to do a crane. <laughs> But I've also done those things. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to also like do new, um, I need to do some birds. So maybe we do a bird. I haven't done a bird video in quite a while. I mean, I did a crane, but do like a small bird. I have a parrot on my list. I have another back, black background on my list. I have another frog on my list. I don't have my list in front of me. If you want to make suggestions, go ahead and please. I love it. I'd love to know what you guys want to see. But no, I'm not quite that far out with the lives. So the fur isn't that gray right here. So it's making me a little nervous. And I'm gonna probably end up covering up that purple and come back with my ball palette and put color in. Okay, there's like a, hmm. a swirl. It might've been more than a year ago now. If that's what you're... Yeah. I can't remember. Hmm. So there'd be the up close rooster <clears throat> big guy. There'd be the cow eye, where I just painted a cow eye in an oh, ear. Oh, okay, yeah. If that helps you kind of mm -hmm. locate mm -hmm. it. Pig found. I found. Yay. I secured the pig. It's going to get harder and harder to do. Painting. Let's see here. I don't know if I want gray over there. I'm gonna switch. The nice thing is if I if I really don't like it, I can come back and paint over the top. Oh, I haven't talked about this much at all. I I tend to, I mean, it depends on what I'm doing. Uh, with an abstract, I didn't do this. But I tend to keep things thin and smooth. Um, but I will put two layers, maybe even three on the background, depending on the color it is. And I, I'm still keeping this pretty thin and smooth, even though you can see the zigzaggies, they're smooth. You can't, I can't feel it. Um, because then it's real easy to come back with more color. If you really need to, you could put white over it to block it and then put color back on top of it. Um, but just like with the oil painting, it can be easier to work smooth to textured. Don't have to, um, but it can be easier. I feel like I'm lecturing today. Am it I, is a luxury am day. Am I yelling? I don't, I'm not yelling. I don't think you're yelling. Well, I just feel like as soon as I say something, like, well, you can always do it. You don't have to. You know, you don't. Mm -hmm. There's a zillion, there's as many ways to paint as there are artists. Everybody does it a little different. So what I'm thinking here is I'm going to have more warms on this side and coolers on this side. Cooler colors. So warms are yellow, oranges, reds browns in this case browns creams coolers are darker browns blues blacks and it's really thin but i think i like that i don't know if you guys can tell it's not see here's more dry brushing this is a little wetter and thin i think i like that for the under under hairs well there is a little light there maybe we'll kind of skip so now I'm going to lose this line a little bit. So we have options. What do I want to do? If I grab that, that's the same color almost. Maybe let's grab a lighter color. So I can still see it. That's going to confuse me because it's actually a sh this is actually a shadow right here. Um, that might not be the smartest move. Let's do this. Let's pull that color, a warmer color, lighter color. Let's, 
This is a fun shape on Hope. So I'm going to, I'm thinking of it, put that in there and emphasize it so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to do this. So all I'm doing is setting myself up for success. And some of that's just practice and experience and good, good and bad habits. Okay, and then I'm going to, so I don't forget, come in here. It lines up about there. Maybe gray would help me, even though it's not the color I want. I can see it. Yeah, that's still a little... That's too strong. Emily just kind of stopped. I think she's zoning and probably... I am take... Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> Are you taking a minute to relax because you've had an incredibly busy life lately? Yeah, I was just staring and yeah. watching you paint. That's good. I felt like you just totally, like, <laughs> leave. I, felt... I just left my body. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt the motor just really wind Ew. down. And now I'm winding you back up again yeah. instead of letting you chill. No, that's fine. <laughs> that was funny. I just felt you, like... Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> like battery power down. Yeah, there. that's a good Kind of like when Freckle makes that weird meow sound. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. she makes that weird meow sound when she's yawning. We need, come on, Freckles, do it. Oh, she's sleeping. There. That looks a little funny, but I think we're... It's a road a, map. It's, it's a, a road nice map, map, and I'm just starting to color in the map. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it is kind of paint by number. Yeah, you kind of you kind of do that. You you start with the outline, and then you kind of just like work in a section, and then you work in another section, and you jump to a different section. Yep. Sometimes I jump because I don't want to forget my thought that I just had because I like the thought. Like, oh, that's really overemphasized. I really overemphasize that sweep, but it'll also remind me I really like the sweep, and we want to. That's part of one of Hope's defining feature type things. Mm -hmm. And this is way too dark. Um, maybe we'll go, I'm kind of tempted to go creamy over here. So when I'm painting by myself, I, I mean, I might be listening to something, but I, my brush was dirty, so it went gray on me. <laughs> um, I really kind of just get in the zone where I'm making all these little Marks is super relaxing for me because I'm like, okay, I'm only focusing on this section. It's no big deal, you know. Mm -hmm. Would it bother you if I scooched it a little closer? No. Okay. It bothers you that it's not. Yeah, it's out of focus where you're painting. Oh. Okay. That's odd. So, it's would you want to put it? Do you want to put it more square and over my shoulder? No, I'm just gonna scooch it closer and then. All right. Wait for that to do something, and then I'm gonna probably drop it down a little bit. I wonder if we did have a for real camera, it would be better. Well, I could just zoom on that instead of. Well, yes. I mean, I wonder. Oh. I don't know that because the aperture isn't gonna be that big. Mhm. Mm I don't know if it would video better. It'd be better quality, probably. Yeah, but I mean, as far as like oh. being able to focus and. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, I kind of covered up some of her leg color, which I assume, yeah, you guys can still see it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab a little raw sienna and just put some of it back in. I'm not really ready for over hairs, over fur. I know it's fur, but sometimes I call it hair when I'm talking about each individual little, like when I get little wispy painting strokes, it's lighter than I want and it's bugging me, so I'm going to make it darker. Oh, I don't do lost edges a lot, but actually it might be kind of neat to have a lost edge and leave that softer, but I can come back and fix that. So where it pretty much blends into the background. Oh, I didn't wipe off my brush after I cleaned it and I just had a drip of water, drip of water come down my hand. I'm not quite ready to cover that up yet. I want to make sure that's still there. It's fun for me to when I come back and pull some individual hairs out and give it characters that characteristics. Plus she's got a black whisker hmm. that comes out of this white area right here, which is why Aww. I've got that there. It kind of splits. So we're definitely going to get that one. And she's got a couple right here that I can put in. So that'll be fun. And 
And I like that when I put the paint on thin, I just grabbed a pinch of water. Um, that might be too much water. That it, then the brown background helps mute it down and make it darker. Mm -hmm. Cause I can always come back and make it lighter. Layers will help you. You'll get little interesting details that just kind of help the painting, help entertain the, the people looking at the painting. Sorry, I was trying to paint and talk. <laughs> yeah, this is way too dark, but I don't mind it. And then some people are like, you know, just you're wasting time. Jump right to it. I mean, they're not wrong. I just like to sneak up on the values. I get less scared when I sneak up on the values. Not that I move too much on you, I'm back over. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're still in frame. Yeah, I, I um, I was watching, I was scrolling in through TikTok, I think, and um, an artist talked about how they just, like, even if the background color doesn't end up being that color, they like paint, and they paint large canvases. Like that had to be like a six foot by six foot canvas. That was a big one. Um. And, uh, like, uh, she was saying that she just lays down an entire thing of color. So then the white isn't so scary. Because then, you know, then she starts laying a color that's just, like, a shade above it. Right. You know? Right. Well, and then she also, when she says that, it's easier to see the shade above it because you don't have the snow white tundra mm -hmm. that you're comparing against. It's also the same as, like, I, I'm worried. Oh, you probably can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. It's, um, it's on camera. I'm worried about this... Um, part, top part of the arm being too light, there really might not be. Mm -hmm. It's just the contrast is so strong. Oh, but it might be totally fine. But yeah, you can make you can make judgments because color is relative, is what she's saying and what you're saying. Yeah, I was worried about the ball because it's so neon in the photo. I didn't want it that neon because I want you to pay attention to hope. Um, and then I was worried I wouldn't be able to match the colors very well. But it's pretty darn close. Even though it's not neon. I'm like, wow, that worked out well. Oh, Chase came into the chat with his $9.99. Hey, Chase, man. Little thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to see your new house. <laughs> it's not Emily's. Yeah, I guess you haven't. Yeah, I, I keep, we haven't seen it. No, well, that's amazing. You saw it online, but. Yeah. It'll be different in person. Mm-hmm. Just like the video smooths out my painting and probably makes it look a little better. I don't know why I'm focusing on that little triangle shape right there. I just kind of got fixated on the reference photo. I think we'll just kind of blend that out. Okay, we need... Every time Chase um, does his super chat, I think about, what do I want for dinner? <laughs> I know, because I usually ask him to. Yeah. This brush is getting a little big for in here, but I think we can... And it's only a little big because it bothers me. There are plenty of artists that use really big brushes. Yeah, this would go faster and looser if you use a bigger brush. And tight's not bad. Ultra realism in painting is a thing. Um, Tammy asked, do comments help in the algorithm or just likes in subscriber or sub, um, in subscribes? I think comments help. I don't know about like in chat comments, but like after the fact video comments, I think those. I, I think any interaction with the video being a like um, or a comment, that'll push the video more than like um, a subscribe to the channel. I think the if you subscribe to the channel, then it pushes more videos to people because it shows that people like your the content. But I think if we're talking like a single video, the likes and the comments after the fact of the video. The comments and the likes on the cloud video are totally what's helping it. Plus, mm -hmm. and then YouTube is pushing it out because of those things. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the subscribe obviously, like, helps the whoever as a whole. But, um. Well, yeah, we want to get to 10,000 so we can have some sort of merch that people want. That'd be cute. Yeah, Just that'd have be something fun. that's fun. Just an entire outfit. I'll wear an entire, every, that'll be my <laughs> work uniform. I'll come here in an entire outfit of you. <laughs> so I'm doing what I said I didn't want to do yet. I'm putting in some hairs <laughs> yeah you are just because I kind of sometimes you have to treat yourself <laughs> to, to what you enjoy <laughs> what you want to do you know go, instead of go grab a piece of chocolate I'm putting in some little hairs because I like that thanks yeah. for asking Tammy yes. we appreciate the help 
and I'm not fully, I'm not, it's not like YouTube, I mean, I guess maybe YouTube tells you somewhere, but, um, at least on, like, the back end, it doesn't scream, like, make sure you have people do this. <laughs> I'm just assuming, because in any interaction with the video, then YouTube knows, like, oh, people like this, and then, um, pushes it to more people that are in your similar, like, demographic, I guess. Yeah. Do we, oh, we could already, do, we already talked about this but a while ago. We could do membership. I got another notification. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, yeah, I don't know when to do yet. that. Yeah, I don't, I agree. I don't know. I don't know at what point. I haven't looked into that. Well, and that's where we could have the fun, you know, I'm on a soapbox. I've set the table. We could have some fun. Oh, yeah. The little emojis cute emojis. that if you pay a couple bucks for it, then you can, we can throw emojis, or they can. I'll be painting, throw emojis at each other. Mm -hmm. Is that how that works? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know at what point. I've, I mean, I've, um, like, illustrators or other people that I follow like that, you know, like, um, I've heard them talk about, like, at what point did you make a Patreon, but I have I don't know about... Membership. Membership on YouTube. Since you're not leaving a site, I have no idea. I'd have to Well, and what dig. are we going to offer? And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't plan on a Patreon. I mean, who knows? Um well, the YouTube um, subscri subscribing to the channel, or not subscribing to the channel, um, being, becoming a member is YouTube's um, response to Patreon. Oh, you know, to, to totally. keep it in, so to keep it all in house. Totally, totally. So, well, I just my graphic design ex limit. I was gonna say a limited experience. My graphic design experience is like it's hard to move people, so I'm not gonna try to move people to Patreon. Mm-hmm. And then that's another site to visit, to share to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We might change our minds, though. I mean, we True. Might, we're learning. But yeah, at this, this, this point in time. So we pro I guess I think we probably will do a YouTube membership unless things change when we get to that point. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do some behind the scenes. Maybe this could be the behind the scenes. You have to be a member. You know, if you want to see me paint live, hang out with me, chat. I don't know. Is that yeah, something they do? I've yeah. seen I've seen people do, or they. I, I mean, I I don't. I've um, I've seen people do like. <clears throat> it's more of just like a, less like whatever they do, and it's more of like a chat hangout kind of thing. Um, like person will literally just sit in front of the camera on live, and they just all chit chat kind of mm, thing. Mm -hmm. Um. That'd be what kind else? of fun. Yeah. Um, I've seen, like, s exclusive content that's just for membership. I've seen people that they just release their videos earlier on the membership side. I don't know. There's so many things. There's a lot of things we could do. Yeah. I'm all for what's easy, easiest for everybody. Yeah, it's looking really funny with this blue over here. but Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I may just totally paint over it, paint it out. I kind of want it in there. Well, even if you paint over it a little bit, it should still kind of yeah. show through. Well, I was also kind of testing the waters. You know, do I like it? Is it too weird? Um, and in reality, you could paint this total the same color as the balls, the ball, and just make it a real interesting sort of abstract. Well, all art is abstract. Excuse me, really, because I'm putting a 3D dog on a 2D surface. Mm hmm but, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could do a lot of things. I, at some point, I'm going to need to decide. So I kind of, I just kind of sneak up on it. I feel like there's some, some funny thing that we could sneak up on, sneak up on your values. Have good values, sneak up on them. <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. There's something out there. I, you know, they're so, everybody's so great at titles, helping me with title paintings that they'll come up with something. Mm hmm So, and I'm getting too warm, too. Um, only because I don't want to, I mean, I, as I said, I can always come back with layers. But What's not Nutmeg's name now? Uh, missing You. Missing You. Not Nutmeg. <laughs> the horse. 
Yeah, the horse from last week. I wanted yeah. to show um, him or her because I'm probably going to take it to the gallery before the next time we go live again. Mm -hmm. And we don't go live next week. No we don't more. go live next week. There. So that's a cooler, warmer gray. I just kind of made some warm gray mud. And now it's getting kind of heavy, but that's okay. I tend to get too detailed too quick, in my opinion. Of course you can do that. I mean, plenty of artists do. Cause I just, I like it. I like the, to me it's relaxing to make all these little brush strokes. I'm just going to take that color. Oops. I'm going to grab a little brown on the corner. Don't do anything. Let's try this brown. It might be drying out. Oh, and would you open the window? Yes. My flash is You gave done. me one job. <laughs> you gave me one job and I didn't do it. You're tired. You're tired of thinking, what stuff can I pack and where is it? And I know. You know. But I, what's nice is... Um, Thank you. Yeah. We uh, just did, like, Chase um, slow cooked a bunch of, like, chicken and stuff. So then we just, like, make tacos and things out of it. So I, I can, I've packed almost all of the kitchen. Oh, that's a big job. No wonder you're tired. I, the thing that I haven't packed, though, is, like, um, we, I don't know if oh, we just have small cabinets or if we have a lot of spices, because we have an entire cabinet um, dedicated, like, a single cabinet de de dedicated to spices and then a drawer that is backup spices. I think the answer is yes to both questions. Yes to both questions, yeah. So. Little cabinets, definitely. I'm not looking spices, forward definitely. to packing those, because I'm like, how do I pack them? They're all... Oh. Go ahead. Are um, you going to say do the tape thing? Yeah. Yeah, I could. I'm just thinking about then I have to tape every single one. <laughs> um, yeah, so if it has an open top, you put tape over the top so it won't sprinkle out, like packing tape. Or... True. I don't think we have many that have like don't have a little lid. Oh, if they have lids, you're fine. True. Okay. But yeah, I, I opened that cabinet, forgetting about that cabinet, and I went, oof. It is. I mean, I got exhausted when we moved. Yeah. We had to move kids and toys and... But my bathroom is um, basically all packed up. It's so nice you have a his and hers bathroom. I know. I mean, we, we shower in the same, but like, yeah, we basically have like two separate get ready bathrooms since yeah. we have two bathrooms. That's nice for an apartment. Um, oh. So... I'm relaxing. Especially because we have a sink in each. And the one and the other is very little. But um, the Chase doesn't have a lot, so it'll be like put it in a bag. It's like, and it's all stuff he uses. So it's like put it in a bag the night before kind of thing. So. Okay, so I'm kind of doing layers here. Well, I am doing layers here. And it's already starting to look better, I hope. I'm right on top of it. So I've kind of, we're doing the beard. Mm -hmm. Hope has a beard. So that's one way to kind of get my dark, my, my, um, there's a little shadow back in right in here that I don't want to lose yet, but I can kind of put it back in too. That literally looks like a beard right now. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> it does. Like, just, totally is. It's, it, because the top half of her head is pretty flat and solid. It looks like a beard. It does. It does. It is. Well, yeah, but once she's all fuzzy, it's not so beardy. No, I'll get things blended in more. I'm just kind of cleaning. My brush is um, just kind of running it out. And also, it kind of stopped. I had a thought here and something distracted me. I kind of stopped. Me powering down again? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and this is way dark. It's all way darker than what I think the reference photo is, but you can already kind of see cooler to warmer more in the sun. I feel like I should shave her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to come up. I'm going to take a drink. You know, I don't ask if anybody has any questions. I can stop at any time. Yeah. You know, why do I do the things I do? Sometimes there isn't a good reason. Or I'm also gonna. Now we have. I don't know if you can hear sirens. the sirens outside. Yeah. I think it's just police sirens. They must be going down the main street. I on purpose streaked some pink in here. I can tone that down a little bit. I kind of want to put her tongue in. 
You don't see it. Oh yeah, you don't. I almost wonder if it's up. I wonder if she's in mid-bark. Oh, maybe. And it's like up and back. Cause you see this like pink line? I don't know if you can see that. Mm-hmm. I wonder if her tongue is up. And that's actually, but still it would be pink gums. Well, maybe not. Well, wouldn't their tongue be down when they bark? Laugh. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe she was gonna, that's true. That's where it kind of helps to know your dog's and anatomy and how things work. And I'm trying to get back to my other photo and it's not. I'm hitting my screen. <laughs> you guys hit me. I'm hitting my iPad. It's not letting me go. I want to go to another photo. Here, I'm going to just shut the photos and bring it back up. Oh, yeah. See, it probably isn't. It probably is pink. The gums are blackish brownish. Of course, I can just follow the photo. I mean, I already cleared that with uh, Pam, mm -hmm. who commissioned the portrait. But sometimes, I mean, because it'll be easy if I make it pink and she does, Pam doesn't like it, I can um, make it black easily. Mm -hmm. Keep it smooth. Well, and it's okay if it has texture, too. It's not like texture's a bad thing. It's just for me, I find it easier. I'm not fighting it if I don't have texture yet. I'll put in some texture and thicker paint at the end for a little more interest when you look at it close. Yeah, I'm tempted to like leave a little pink there. Okay, paint. Stop talking. Thank you for opening the window. I'm hot again. Yeah. Let's see. I've got a dark. Right there's a dark spot. And there's also a little light spot. It's not that light. That's not. I don't know how to tackle that. Let's go back to here maybe. All right, so she has like this shape. It might be too light. Looks a little. How do I know it's too light? It just bugs me. Um, I know that's not helpful. Mm -hmm. Emily, ch Emily chuckled, Jason. You could hear. Um, I just want to keep it darker, a little darker now, and come back again with another layer, because I really want to get some drama up here with some white. I really gonna want some white here. I can I can actually do it. I really want some white. Oh, I hope I didn't bump my phone. I just bumped the quartz right here because this is a bullseye and it's a nice bullseye to do, to help pull your eye up from that colorful ball. And of course, we look at the eyes. It's like the first rule of advertising. If you go to graphic design schools, put a pair of pair of eyes in it. And I really want some white here to pull you up. Okay. And sometimes I'll do that just to show you, but sometimes I'll do it even if you guys aren't here, just to see what I want to do. So now I kind of want to put a little, so then I'm going to start directing your eye around with the whites to help keep you in the painting. You can look at other paintings and see if they do that. And then sometimes you don't, a lot of artists don't go white, white, but the thing is this is going to dry a little darker. So I'm not too worried about it. And then I use white. Some artists don't use white at all. They'll just get real close to it. Mm -hmm. Put a pinch of yellow in it or something. Okay. So now that almost looks too dark to me. Now I have these whites. So I didn't know. I don't know. It becomes, that's why you want to kind of get some paint down and see how it's working. Because I think I'm going to want that to be pretty, it won't be white, but I want it to be pretty strong this little triangle in the ear. Now I'm thinking about dinner, Em. I know, what are we gonna have? <laughs> what do I want? I haven't had Runza's in a while. Runza's That's a local true. thing. Yeah, we talked about Runza once, I think. Once. Yeah, because we were trying to figure out what it's similar to. And you were saying like pierogies or something, but it's not. But it's not, I don't remember what it's similar to now. Uh, it's similar to... It's meat, cabbage, and onions in a enclosed bread dough. Especially the meat and cabbage part. I feel like it's Polish? No, because the pierogi's Polish, I thought. Oh, that's right. So just, I'll stop talking. Emily's looking. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, this is the thing I couldn't... A, a B rock, a Barack, Barack. I don't know. Huh? It's um, 
a yeast dough pastry pocket sandwich with savory filling. Originated in Russia. Oh, it's Russian. Mm -hmm. Cool. But it's similar to also a kraut burger, which I assume is German, and a kraut or a kraut pyrok. Pyrok? Something? Oh, that might be pierogi. Let's Google that. It might be. I can't see the spelling, and I. Not that I'm a great speller. Mm. I mean, it's just pyroke. Pyroke, yeah. That's what's nice. Like, I Google Translate, I can just have it say the word to me. Like, Indian 3 and Blue, I didn't know how to say. So I know. So yeah. I just had Google say it to me, like, oh, Indian. And then I, pr I had to practice it. Indian 3 and Blue. Because I bought it and I didn't know how to say it. It's basically like a hot pocket. <laughs> it is kind of a hot pocket. But it's I not mean, crunchy. It's not, yeah. it's not crunchy, but hot and it's, pocket. It's, it's like a roll or like a, like a bready texture. It's more of the bread rather than like the hot pockets. Bread mm -hmm. is kind of like a flatbread feel. Mm -hmm. It's more like a stuffed roll. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stick a picture in the chat. They probably are like, we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> Your runs us. Yeah, you really find them around here. Well, I mean, not, I don't mean the chain. Yeah, I think it only goes as far as, like... But people make them. Not deep into Iowa, and then there's maybe one in Kansas. Yeah, the chain. Yeah. yeah. So they're really just Nebraska. Brush stroke direction is going to matter, especially here. Even though it's not really showing so much right now. Runza sounds good. I wonder what everybody's up to. I had, no one said what they like to watch. Any suggestions? Mm -mm. Okay, no that's fine. I'm just wondering. No pressure to comment or talk. Or... So there's a dark line here. You can't really see it, so maybe we'll grab. So I do bounce around because I'm just finding the, the shapes and the patterns, and I can soften them later. Because right now she's got a streak. I did an hour of stomach exercises yesterday, Emily, and I still Dang. don't feel it. It's not weird. Abs of steel, Anne. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or I'm just not. I mean, I can feel it. I feel, you know, I feel the contraction. I feel the. Mm -hmm. They. I fatigue or I start to shake if I'm doing like a little plank type thing. Mm -hmm. I, it's weird. I'm like trying to get myself sore. <laughs> I can't. But I'm. I'm like, am I doing? I must not be doing it right. I don't know. I haven't. I don't, know, I don't know. But I like I definitely have leg muscles in shape, so mm -hmm. maybe I'm just a better shape. I just can't tell over my it's under my chub, so I can't tell. You're just protecting the six pack. Yeah, with the with chub. You're just protecting it a little bit, giving it a a safety pouch. Okay, there's a I don't know what it is. I think it's funny, but I did an hour hmm. hour of abs and I did a couple of uh, YouTube ab videos. Mm-hmm. I am, um, I'm, I haven't done, I'm trying to cut back on arms and legs so then like I don't, and just do cardio because I'm scared if I get sore and then it's going to be a brutal next week for moving. Oh, right. Yeah, you want to. Or unpacking. You're going to get sore Or moving. like carpets are getting cleaned on Tuesday next week. So I'm going to be, like I'll just be there cleaning the house while they do the carpets. I'll just clean the house I so a, i had an art thought yes art thought so what i'll do is i keep sneaking up on this line that's in her here i'll show you in her cheek with paint and then when i come back or sometimes i do it i kind of did it here a little bit i'll come back over here first so i'm working on this area so the color changes there's a little bit darker where the color shifts but that could just be that this is so much lighter it makes what's next to it look darker but I'll come back and then both bring some of the lighter whites up into the cheek and then some of the cheek back into the... Um, I don't know if that's something you have to do. It's just something I do because I feel like it looks more realistic. Sort of cross the border. Did, 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 I kind of cut you off real quick. Mm -mm. I had nothing more to say. Yeah, you don't want to be sore when you move. Mm-hmm. Because I think moving will make me sore, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to be tired. We're going to be doing things we don't normally do. Lots of stairs. 
So many stairs. Oh, the apartment. I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking about like, how am I, how do I want to do that? How do I want to? Well, the mo you were hiring movers too. Yeah, but. For all the boxes. They projected, two, two different places have projected us to take like five hours minimum. And I'm like, I don't want to pay for five hours. Well, they too so, charge you for half a day. So we just got them by the hour. And so if I can move most of the boxes, oh, I'll do it up on my own. I gotcha. I was, I was qualifying too soon there. Yeah, you want to. Well, I will help you if you want me to. Mm -hmm. We don't have, like, we have furniture to move, but we don't have, like, that much furniture to move. No, they might be thinking of more furniture. You actually are lack. You have a lot of stuff. You don't have a lot of furniture. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of boxes. Well, all of Chase's gourmet cooking things, which is yeah. awesome. He's an excellent chef. You know. The kitchen has taken less boxes than I thought it had, would. Oh, good. So, That's it's just nice. all this stuff. The stuff. Oops, I actually kind of want that darker there. I think we need to stop that area a little bit. And this is actually looking better to me. It's still a little, it needs some value shifts. Mm -hmm. But it's looking better. It is um, 121. Oh, Eight so minutes? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like I've been paying that long. I know. Is it, I'm going to look at the, oh, it's still pretty loose. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the, but it's better. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the my computer so but, I can get back from it. Yeah, the beard looks the most done. Yeah, and you can kind of see the sun. Mm -hmm. Like, I might move where the sun comes. But, yeah, I've got this. Oh, man, that's why I stopped here. <laughs> they actually had a, a, a thought, and they just don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of show some sun. And I don't know if you can tell, but that white definitely is darker. And then this white isn't white, white. I don't know if you can see that. It probably looks pretty darn white compared to everything else. But she's looking better. She started looking better last night when I got some of the eyes in. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll take a picture probably after the live and say, Pam, do you like the direction I'm going in? Which is kind of, if you paint pet portraits, that's kind of risky. Because sometimes there's, you scare them with how rough it looks. <laughs> yeah. Or like purple in the ears. Mm -hmm. and, that, and you can't fix it. And, and you also don't want to indicate that you can fix anything. Because there's only so much you can do. Like, mm -hmm. I can't probably pull off her eyes being green and looking right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or like like with people, they they want you to take out the wrinkles. What's nice about pet portraits is they usually are totally cool with how their pet looks. They, mm -hmm. they love their pet to pieces. Yeah. They're a family member. But um, yeah, it can be a little risky too. Like I might scare her with some of these colors. <laughs> I don't think I will. She's seen enough of my work, which helps. Mm-hmm. And if you're listening, Pam, hey, I didn't even think about that. I told her we were doing the live. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pam. Yeah, she could be here right now. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Love the trees and the flowers that are bursting. It's really pretty right now outside. <clears throat> if anybody has any questions or wants to, any comments, now's the time. We've got five minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven. But yeah. There's a neat shape here that I'm bouncing my head back and forth. Let's grab a little. What do I hear? I don't know. <laughs> we have the window open. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we go a little lighter. Oh, it's not that light. I think if maybe we'll sneak up on it. There's some joke about unique up on it. I don't even know what the joke is. Hopefully it's clean. So sneak up on it, unique up on it. Do you know that joke, Ann? No. I feel like my neighbor girls told me that one. Let me Google it. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to... I do look at my reference photo a lot. Um, but I also... We'll branch out. It's kind of a funny little dance I play. I'm going to zoom in on her eye right here. And I may make her eyes a little more narrow. I think she looks happy, though. She was looking angry for a while, and that was upsetting me. Because she's not. She just has her eyes kind of closed a bit. Hmm. I'm not finding it. Um... 
I'm sure it's a terrible It's apparently a, a dad joke. How yeah, do you it's catch a, a unique rabbit? You, uh, uh, a unique rabbit. Unique up on it. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very I don't funny. know, yeah. So this little landmark, that light spot, really helps me. It's actually bigger, um, I think. But it still helps me know where it is as I kind of fill some paint in around it. Start filling out her face a little bit. This is way darker than it needs to be. Start using maybe some of the raw sienna. Raw sienna out of the tube's great. Um, it might be, it's a little more orange than the photo. But it works, it work, It just works great in my opinion. I've done, whoops, I've done one corgi before. Oh, I did a corgi butt. That was fun. Mm hmm So you've done two corgis? Yeah, it's a gonna, it's- A booty and a front? <laughs> yeah, two fronts and a, and a butt. Oh, two fronts? Um, Bella. She was a black and- But one. you did two fronts? Well, but, oh, I'm counting this one. Oh, okay, oh, okay. It's not done, but I'm counting this one. Oh, I just zoomed out too much. What can throw you a little bit is when I'm like super zoomed in on the eye, you might make the shape bigger because you're looking at it bigger than it needs to be. So that's where having the structure down and trusting your structure or trusting the traceable and then trusting your first, you know, sketchy structure really helps. You can always change it when you get back from it and go, wow, you know, the nose is too big or... Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's what's nice about using a traceable. Oh, and I use a traceable to save the money because that really speeds it up. I'm not sketching it. I'm not gritting. I'm not sketching to get it on there. Um, that's a big reason for the pet portraits to use a traceable is to save the person commissioning it some money. There. Sometimes just kind of smearing it to soften this area. I don't want to lose it yet. Maybe, because this line isn't, it really softens right here. So let's do that. And then it doesn't really turn quite so much that I have it. Actually, I need to, now I need to zoom out so I kind of get the, oh yeah, it's more of a C shape and stops. Oop, that might be too much. That's starting. I, it's coming together. Is Definitely it? in this live, it's come together. And sometimes, sometimes I feel like we don't move too much, you know? No. But we've done yeah. quite a bit. Oh, and that's going to dry darker. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think I'm going to say goodbye. <gasps> I have to jump out of my chair. Well, no jumping. <laughs> no scaring the cat. Yeah. Freckle is fast asleep. So hopefully I've made some, a couple comments here and there that are helpful. I think just watching can be really helpful. I watch other artists paint. I watch pastel artists right now. I've been saying that for a little while. It's a different medium, but they paint in layers. They talk about texture. I mean, there's a lot of principles carry over into all kinds of art mediums. I'm trying to... When you do your double water thing from when you used to watercolor. Watercolor. So. Yeah, and you don't have to, but that way I've got a clean water if I need it. So hopefully this was helpful. I really, really, really appreciate your support. I just can't thank you guys enough. And it's so fun to hang out with you all. I'm looking forward to getting to know more art friends. Great, big, happy art hugs. I'm also <laughs> going to actually hug you guys. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.